Are you sad that Steve Job is dead? Thanks for asking. I'm quite all right. So basically, we're about to inter interview the principal of 327. You heard that? BCMS. So BCMS. BCS all stands for Bowser Collaborative Middle School. He made the school a better, a be he made the school a better place. How did he make the school a better place? Now, um, that he's like a better principal. Gets us more school equipment, set up moves, more school trips, and um, he's flexible. So, are you nervous getting ready to interview him? Yes, I, I'm a little. I'm, I'm a, a little, little bit nervous. too. How come you're nervous? Um, because we never like interview anyone before, so it's gonna be a little bit weird. For me, it's gonna be a weird to um to interview somebody. Cause so this is my first time interviewing anyone in my life. What I what I love about my job. Well, my favorite part of the job is working with you guys. You guys remind me of a lot of myself when I was a kid in, in school, growing up in Brownsville. So that's, that has to be my favorite part, coming back home and having a chance to work with you every day. In the future, what would you like to do? You want to um, like own your own, like own your own um, business or like still being a um, principal or a teacher? Mm -hmm. That's a great question. You know, I don't see myself doing anything other than be, being an educator right now, but I guess if if I had a chance, I would love to own my own rec center. I run my own center right here in the community and have it be open 24 hours a day. You know, if, if kids just want to play and, 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 and a place where families want to be. And, uh, you know, I, I think that's that's one way we could, we could solve some of the problems in our community. If you were, um, would have um, changed something about the world, what would you change? If you, if you want something to change, you have to be the change. So, you know, if we all thought that way, then everything would be beautiful. What do you think the future of the school is going to be? <laughs> oh, it's an easy question, man. So you know who your principal is, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So all I know is success. And that's all you guys are going to know is success. So in five years, I see you guys going to college, coming back, giving you guys summer jobs, you know, to help out the kids here. You know, I see us being the number one school in New York City, um, not just academically, but in, in basketball and, and in golf, I see a golf course across the street right here. You know, how are we gonna find the next Tiger Woods if we don't have golf courses, right? I see us uh, uh, competing nationally in tennis and, 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 and fencing and everything. So I see a, a world-renowned school that when, when the president comes to town, that they have to stop by our school because that's, that's, that's the great thing. That's some of the great stuff that's going on here. We just interviewed the principal. Okay, how nice. <laughs> okay. I'll talk to you later. Okay, love you. Bye bye. Oh, What'd you think? I like that you could you could even have success, even if you grew up in a bad place. You could come up and rise from that and have success. But um, I would just say Brownsville is a bad place. Like Brownsville is a good place. The only thing is is wrong with Brownsville is the killing that's going on in Brownsville. But from from that Brownsville is actually a good place. Brownsville has the potential to be a good place. But but like there's too many killings going on in Brownsville. That's why everybody um like. That's why everybody don't like like Brownsville that much. But I I don't see nothing wrong with Brownsville, cause Brownsville is a nice place to be. It's only the killing and what people are doing and the beef around here, cause like they be saying the ops up, the ops and stuff. Like there's no things as ops. It's just don't. Everybody could go in it like you could have family in another neighborhood. Exactly. There's no such thing as ops. You just go into another hood. But they think everything is gang affiliated. But, and they kill innocent, innocent kids. For no reason. What's that like for you guys? Like, how do you feel about that? Like, what's um, it? Go ahead. Sometimes I feel scared. But I'm not really that scared. Because I know nothing will happen to me. Because I know people. Um, not like that. Um, but. That's what, this is why I stay in the house and I just play on my laptop so I won't be gang affiliated or anything. Yeah, that's cause like, that's why most people come into the street just to be in a gang 
But it's not all about be, being in a gang. It's about going to school, get your education, to be something in life. Yeah, get to that education. And what do you go, what do you guys love to do? What do you guys like to do? When I grow up? Yeah. Um, I would like to um be a doctor and own my own um hospital. Why is that? Why is that? Because like you want to help people. You don't always like want to um like be a gang. Cause that's uh, that's everybody. That's what's on everybody's mind to like today. Like that's all they want to be a gang in a gang so they can fight people. Why is it people stab people? I don't know because like they have um beef with people. They think it would give them a sense of um danger, like you're just endangering yourself. Like if if they so if somebody wanna fight me, they could just call their gang up and they will like beat them up, jump them or something. But it's not always it's not always about gang. Makai, what do you wanna be? I wanna be I just know. I don't want a job, I want a career. Like What do you mean by that? Like being a correction officer, probably a doctor, surgeon. Hmm. I got a that. bunch of things that I want to be when I grow up. Like what? Doctor, <laughs> police officer, fireman. No. Hey, um. Probably a principal for a little while. Oh yeah, I would argue with my guy. I would have been like a principal for a little while, cause like you wanna help out, wanna kids. help out, yeah, they wanna help out the kids, cause you was born in Brownsville. You can't just go away and forget about Brownsville. Brownsville, you can't. When you get rich and successful, you can't, you can't forget about where you grew up. When I was a kid, we had so much to do. Like, we, it, there was no idle time. So after school, we went to the after school program, we went to the rec center, everybody played on the team. You know, guys volunteered their time um, every day on the weekends to coach basketball teams. There was no funding, um, but people gave their time to raise us. And, and what's changed is people stopped giving back. People stopped volunteering and spending time with, with, with Kamadi and, and Makai. And, Cause I was just like them. The only difference is I had my father who, he gave his whole all his time to the community, and his friends did the same thing. So we had to get back to that. We had to get back to where. If our kids are in school all day long with us after school, and we have we have a, a beacon program at night, and they won't be outside and you know getting into, getting themselves into trouble.